There is not a day that goes by, and I mean this. There is not a day that goes by where I don't hear somebody or somebody tells me or I have to do with somebody saying, you know, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. You know, I'm not a I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Tucker the other day said, you know, I'm a but he was. Have you heard him lately? Anyway, that's another story. I mean, this guy better be careful. Is all I'm saying. Anyway, um, uh, uh, but you hear it all the time. I don't want to be, be a conspiracy theorist. And nobody knows what that means. They, they're using the term absolutely incorrectly. They're using it uh, for the wrong reason. They don't really understand what it means. And I'm here to explain to you what it means and how to use it correctly. Not just from the legal aspect of it, but from the practical point. Because the word has been absolutely, positively overdone. But first, let me ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos, and the like. And also, and this is not a conspiracy theory either, but years ago, people who prepared for food or had food or prepared in terms of having you know water or money or ammunition, they were called crazy preppers. And right now, What's going on with Hurricane Idalia or Idalis or whatever the hell the name is? <laughs> I always give a new name every time. Whatever's going on there, people right now with what, 200, 300,000 people with no power, they are going, they will wish and they will hope that they would have listened and been a prepper and a conspiracy theorist and had uh, emergency food. From our friends at My Patriot Supply. You can do this right now by going to preparewithlionel.com. Use the link that's on the description and on the comment section. Because nobody's laughing now. You've heard me say it. And I think it's it's it goes without saying. You don't have to in any way listen to me or anybody for that matter. Suggest for a moment that it would be foolhardy or crazy or or, or, or lunacy for you to prepare for a host of problems, weather, upset, uh, um, you know, unrest. God knows what with this administration. So you've heard me say this. There's no reason. Go to preparewithlionel.com. Look at this right now. You've got this. This has a 25 year shelf life, 200 bucks off of 300 of. 200 bucks off a three month emergency supply kit, new teeth, has a 25 year shelf life, 21 varieties, breakfast, lunch, dinners, everything for you there in beautiful 120 pounds of food in six buckets, water resistant. I mean, it's just perfect. Prepare with Lionel.com. Nobody, nobody is laughing about prepping now. Nobody. There's a new fire, a new disaster, a new everything every single day with no end in sight. I don't know why, because I don't want to get into conspiracies. Okay. I'm going to leave this up, by the way. Preparewithlionel.com. The word conspiracy, conspirare, Latin to breathe together. To breathe together. That's what it means. The conspiracy is the confederation. It's the agreement. It's the unlawful, furtive, underhanded, kind of nefarious agreement. It's the agreement, not what you agree to, not the subject matter, but the fact that you have met with somebody and you and somebody agreed, confederated, planned to do something, whether it was successful or not, you can conspire to steal. You can conspire to kill. You can conspire to steal a car, to, to import drugs. The conspiracies themselves will will uh, rise in penalty by virtue of what you conspire to do. But remember... You haven't done anything. It, uh, assume you're arrested right after you make this deal. That's conspiracy. You're done. You're finished. And in some cases, like in drug cases, whether you actually 
uh, transact or import any drugs or not, the conspiracy is already taking place. It's kind of like the Catholic Church. You know, you might as well, if you're going to think about having doing something uh, 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 sinful, you might as well do it. That's the way that works. Okay. But what people mean today is they say conspiracy theory, meaning that there's something more than the official story that is being presented. That's what it means. It means that people are suggesting that there is something other than that which is presented. A conspiracy theory that the government was involved in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Or conspiracies that the 9-11 story, some say it's an inside job, some say it might have been this, some say... But normally, when you deflect or divert or veer from the official statement, that is what is considered to be the conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories as to fires. Some have suggested directed energy weapons. And the conspiracy would be people, forces working together in secret to do this. Not the fire, but the conspiracy, the confederation. Let me say this again. If you are talking about uh, if you believe that the fires in Lahaina or the fires in Oregon or the or whatever, that they were deliberately set, that they were deliberately ignited by a host of means. And you say, is that a conspiracy theory? The conspiracy theory is not the fire. The conspiracy theory is somebody dealing with somebody, agreeing with somebody to do it. It's it's the act itself. You understand what I'm saying? Not, not the fire, the agreement. That's not what people think about. They think conspiracy theory means, well, the idea that, that this was deliberate. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's not a conspiracy theory. If, if I am, if we find a body, let's say we're detectives. Person is um, handcuffed behind their back, 10 shots to the head. We say, this is homicide. This is homicide. You understand this? Remember uh, the acronym NASH uh, plus U. NASH, let me explain. Murders, deaths, types of deaths are either NASH, natural, accidental, suicide, homicide, or unexplained. Unexplained kind of goes about saying. So if you see this, you're going to say, this is a homicide. That's not a conspiracy theory. This is a homicide. This is a homicide. If we watch a building that we believe, let's say we're experts, and we say, this thing was, this is a demolition. Not what you're thinking, not the towers, but just say a building itself. We're, we're uh, arson investigators. We're saying, this was arson. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's, that's, this is arson. Conspiracy theory would be, that we're thinking that two people might have agreed. This might have been just one person acting on his own. Theoretically, if you believe that the Lahaina fires were started by whatever, it could be one person. There's no conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory would be that somebody conspired and confederated with somebody else. That's what a conspiracy is. This is the part that nobody gets. It's not the subject matter. It's not the fact that I think I know what really happened. I think I think this is I think there's something else. That that's not that that's that's a belief that the government's lying to you, or that somebody else is involved, or that the official story was incorrect, that the official story was a lie, or whatever. That's that's what that is. That's that's different than what we're talking about. Now, you know and I know in 1967 it was reported, and you can you 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 can read this for yourself. It was reported that the CIA came up with basically uh, 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 a, a memorandum in order to use the term conspiracy theory as a weaponized version to, to make light of or to joke or to mock anybody who dared to distrust the belief system of the Warren Commission. Nobody was buying this. And don't forget, remember, we didn't even see the Zapruder film until 75 or so during that Good Night America with Geraldo Rivera. 
See how that works? Okay, fine. So, so the, 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 the point of all this, and what's important to understand, is that they said weaponizes, but, but, the, but the actual use of this was, they've had the use, the use of the word conspiracy theory has been uh, mentioned, uh, goes back to the time of Garfield and others. I mean, it's not, it, 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 it's not a, a phrase because there has been conspiracies in terms of the law. But what conspiracy theory means to people is that, look, I don't want to be all kind of tinfoil hatty, but I think maybe, you know, the government was in on this. Really, that would be a conspiracy where the government conspired with people. But that's not what people mean. It means that you have a way of thinking that this is not the official story. You know, I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, I think that, you know, uh, this, I think that this, this um, COVID business, I don't know if that necessarily happened in Wuhan. It might have been deliberately, and there are people who think it might have been original, originally uh, 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 created by gain of function by either, doesn't matter who, they think that's an alternative theory. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's an alternative theory. That the conspiracy is the act, it's the confederation. Somebody has you have to conspire with somebody. And nobody ever means that. Nobody means that. When you believe that the Gulf of Tonkin, that, that was a that, that was a false flag, that wasn't a conspiracy theory. You said it was a false flag. The conspiracy theory would have been that that maybe American military might have worked with and concert with somebody else. That's it. So so please let me just tell you this. Do yourself a favor. Stop saying you know this is a because I'm not into conspiracy theories. I am. They happen all the time if it makes sense. Governments and people and bad guys, they've always conspired. When they wanted to whack Big Polly, the, the mob conspired with other members of the mob. 9-11 was a conspiracy of Saudi officials, uh, Al-Qaeda, bin Laden. They all conspired together. That's the story. That's not what people mean, but that's a conspiracy. Okay, I'll go along with that one. Fine. The Gulf of Tonkin, there was a conspiracy involving American military and others and the media itself to concoct some story as far as whatever. That's not what you mean. You mean it's, it's, a, it's a lie. When the government lies about something, that's not a conspiracy theory. That's a lie. The government's just lying to you. When it tells you something, when it says, we never gave those black people syphilis, that's not a conspiracy theory. They're, they're lying. They did do that. And they might have conspired within themselves. So just, just use this term correctly. Don't run from it. Don't, don't think you're the better person because you eschew the notion of the conspiracy theory. Don't do that. Put this to bed. Deflate, dethrone, defang, uh, disabuse yourself of the overuse of this term. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, let me also tell you something. You will not be a conspiratorial prepper if you go to preparewithlionel.com when you can right now and save 200 bucks off a three-month emergency food supply because you are going to need emergency food absolutely guaranteed. And that is not a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy fact. Don't forget what Gore Vidal says. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy analyst. Okay. All right, dear friends, have a great and a glorious day. Thank you so much. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment as you see fit. Let me try this again.